Asia for the Knockout Championship. All our heat winners judged to determine the best of Britain. So from Heat 1 and the Midlands, charismatic Charnwood. From the Lakes, Kenny Keswick. From the Mellow South, Courageous Christchurch. From Bonnie Scotland, lovely Loch Gilpeb. From the West Country, glorious Gloucester. And they join battle with wellying West Dorset for Knockout Championship 1982. A great big welcome to seven of the finest teams ever to joust for the British Championship. And we have a very special guest, by the way, from down on Ye Farm to present the marathon. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Fraser Hines! <laughs> <laughs> on an old nag, I'm afraid, that has seen better days. Off you go for a bag of hay. Fraser, then, what's... Sorry about that entrance. I was riding at Ascot and I couldn't stop him. What about life down on the farm, then? Oh, uh, well, they've given me the afternoon off, because Grandad's doing the milking and Matt's haymaking. I think uh, one of my relatives is up there, though, in that uh, big costume there. <laughs> Just looks like my granddad. We shall see him shortly. You've, you've a most hilarious marathon. Yeah, a lo lovely marathon. I'm looking forward to doing it. Splendid. See yeah. you later to your workstation fly. Now, all the way from Nishotel in Switzerland, our special international referee, Gennaro Olivieri. <laughs> Good afternoon, sir. And I'm very happy to be here with seven very sympathetic teams who will meet all over Europe this season. That's wonderful. I'll subtitle that and say you're, en you're enjoying being here yes, because yes, of the seven much. wonderful teams. <laughs> right, two more little introductions. Mike Swan and Arthur Ellis are international referees. Where are they? Here they are. Voila! And now, on with the game. I see there is a joker coming in. Yes, a Charnwood joker. Lead it in. This is a great challenge. You must be full of confidence. A, a beautiful red-headed lass all the way from Charnwood. Let me describe the game then. Six big farmers up on top of the bank. On the whistle, come lumbering down. They go past Gennaro on the podium, over the stile, pick up a huge sunflower, and come back to base, where we have six most beautiful damsels awaiting their arrival. So, Gennaro, without more ado, let us get the British Championships 1982 underway, and you say, attention, From Charnwood. Charnwood coming on the inside. They've got to go round us. And don't forget the Charm Joker being played. And a very, very strong team from jostling here. West Dorset was pushed on one side by Charnwood. So it's Gloucester in third place, Lock Bed, then Christchurch, and finally Keswick. <laughs> a bit of jiggery pokery, nudgery widgery on the first bend there. Charnwood took the inside. <laughs> Charnwood on their way back. But West Dorset won't let them get away. Charnwood on the far side. West Dorset near us the camera. Oh, West Dorset are down. West Dorset have fallen. It's going to be Charnwood on the Joker and they finish. No, Charnwood have won their Joker. Lock Gilpad made a marvelous recovery coming in for second place. West Dorset going to finish third, from Christchurch in fourth, Gloucester in fifth. And I'm afraid Keswick, out of time. Ooh, what a joker, Gennaro, play. At the first place, playing the joker, we have Charnock, uh, Charnwood. Charnwood. Charnwood in Charnock. Charnwood. <laughs> Charnwood that makes six points plus six with a joker, 12 points. International rules apply, 12 points for Charnwood. Second place, Lock Gilt Head. Lock Gilt Head in second place. With five points. Five points. Then West Dorset, four points. West Dorset, four. Then Christchurch, three points. Christchurch, three. Then Gloucester, two points. Gloucester, two. And Keswick, one point. So there on the master scoreboard we have Charnwood in the lead uh, with 12 points, 
And we come now to game number two. It is the Caterpillar Run, and we have uh, some boys and some girls in the Caterpillars, all lined up, and on the whistle they have to come through and come down to me. It is a straight race, and what do I see but the West Dorset Joker. And uh, tell me, tell me what the West Dorset Joker really is. A Dorset Yokel. <laughs> a Dorset Yokel full of young apples there. Oar. Oar, oar, oar. We shall see you later on as Queen Elizabeth. In the meantime, fly because I want Gennaro to come in and blow the whistle for game two. Attention! <laughs> the West Dorset Joker and the West Dorset are nearest the camera. In the red, if you're watching in colour. They're operating at the yellow caterpillar. And we have four boys and a girl in there. The West Dorset team in the lead. Let's have a look at them. There they are, David, Christopher, Alex Trevor and Penny Fowler. And Penny Fowler is one heck of a competitor. She was complaining to me she should have a crash helmet on her head because that caterpillar weighs half a ton. But you'll see her emerge glowing with a smile and the West Dorset Joker being played. It's all on time. In the middle, we have Christchurch. On the far side, we have Rotherham. It could be West Dorset from, from Christchurch. In the yellow, West Dorset finish about now, and they've just shaded out. Christchurch, Rotherham finishing. With a slower time, a few handshakes there. It's all about friendship, despite the fact that these teams are highly trained to a, a peak of commando position. They are still very, very fond of each other. At the end of a game, a handshake, an embrace, and the whistle blows. Gennaro. We have the time for Rotherham, 1 minute 13. For Christchurch, 57, 57 seconds. What about West Dorset? And West Dorset were the best team, 55. That's the fastest time in the world recorded on this game. Now Gloucester, John Wood and Keswick are ready and we can start Gennaro. Attention. Gloucester first from the camera. John Wood in the middle. Keswick nearest to us. So John Wood in the middle. The people we're watching trying to meet a time of 55 seconds to blow off the West Dorset Joker. I'm going to keep you posted on this one. They are halfway down the course. We've had 25 seconds. <laughs> they are really determined. It looks so easy, this game, but it isn't, I assure you. Very, very tough. What about Gloucester coming up the far side? Chamber in the yellow. But Gloucester in the red. Keswick in the green out of it. Gloucester in the red. It's Gloucester, I think. Yes. Gloucester first. Charnwood second. Keswick creeping in. And if you look on the left of Keswick, you will see just how strenuous that game is. Because they're all flakerized. The important time, the Gloucester time, and the Charnwood time. The fate of the West Dorset Joker. Gennaro. We will first give the time for Keswick. One. 16. One minute 16 for Keswick. Then the time for Chanwood. 59. And Gloucester. And Gloucester, 58. So West Dorset are intact. The points. West Dorset did it. Six point plus six for the winning joker makes 12 points. Then Christchurch. Five points. Gloucester, four points. Chanwood, three points. Then Rotherham, two points. And to Keswick, one point. And now we transfer them to the master scoreboard. So there, the battle's well and truly on. New leaders, West Dorset, 16 points. Chanwood, 15. Christchurch, eight. Gloucester, six. Lock your bet five, and with two points apiece, Keswick and Rotherham. And now for the first round of the exciting marathon, here's Fraser. Thank you, Stuart. And as you can see, I'm down here on the farm. And behind me is a muck heap, but it's a very special one because hidden in it are 14 bones. And up the hill there, 
are seven flea-bitten mangy old dogs. And that was before they put the costumes on. On Arthur's whistle, and being dogs, it's got to be a whistle, they'll come charging down to the muck heap, dive in and grab one of the bones, go back up the slippery, slidey slope, put a bone on the podium, come back again for his second bone. Each dog has to get there for two bones. Now, the dog that wins this heat gets one point, the dog who comes second gets two points, etc., etc. And then we end up with the three legs of the marathon. We add all the points together, and the team with the least number of points is the winner. You'll, you'll understand a bit later, anyone. Ready, Arthur, on your whistle, please. Attention! No, no, no. Hold it. Hold it. And Rotherham, we're off to a, a good start, but it's a... Get back to your kennel. Back to your kennel, you naughty dog. He must be hungry, that dog. Have they been feeding him? Right, now are you ready? On Arthur's whistle, not his come off, it's his whistle. Ready? Attention! And off to go. A real good start there. They're all scrambling. Who's going to be the first out with the bone? West Dorset can't even get in. The poor Dorset dog is stuck looking for a bone. And who's this? It's the Keswick dog. And that's Grant Horsborough from Keswick. But he's tiring already. And here comes the Lock Elbed dog. John McAlpine, look at that. Nicely up for his first bone. He's used to climbing those Scottish highlands and dales from the open area. There he goes, sliding down. And Christchurch has got a bone in. Oh, he can... Charles would have got a bone in. But here comes John McAlpine. The Scottish dog all the way from Oban and the Mullock and Tyre. That's Mad Vic coming up there. Charwell have finished. And we're just waiting for the Gloucester. And I'm afraid the whistle has been blown on them. Like I'm galloping down to Arthur Ellis. Well, Arthur, how do we do with that? Well, the winners of the first marathon, Lock Gilpin. Lock Gilpin. In second place, Christchurch. Christchurch! In third place, Keswick. Third place, Keswick. Or Keswick. In fourth place, Charlwood. Got a deafening roar for the cheerleaders. Out of time, West Dorset. Out of time, Rotherham. Oh dear. And also, Gloucester disqualified simply because you cannot, you're not allowed to throw a bone. You must carry the bone to the angler. So Gloucester also, seven points. Did he eat the bone then? <laughs> well, at the moment, Loch Gilpin from Scotland is in the lead. Christchurch second, Keswick third. That's how we are. You understand the rules now. Over to you, Stuart. Well, thank you very much indeed, Fraser. I have uh, with me now the Loch Gilpin team. There are two pipe playing brothers. We've got Craig and Ian there, the twins, and with me I've got Tizzy, whom we last saw in Loch Gilphead as a mermaid. Uh, it's Loch Gilphead. You mean Loch Gilphead? Yes, Loch Gilphead. I've been practicing like heck. Loch. Now, what sort of notoriety did you achieve as a result of playing as a mermaid in Loch Gilphead? Oh, quite a lot, yes. Especially with your costume, people. <laughs> <laughs> yes, with the body stocking. Right, you're not wearing body stocking. To your game, because Tizzy and your partner have got to stand on top of these rolling drums, operated by two huskies, in this case the twins, down the course, and alongside them, two other teams, a straight race down the course. Now I espy the Jokers from Christchurch, and we have, of course, uh, Mr. Football, Ken, and in the castle, not Frank Einstein, but Alf. 
That is so right. Okay, this way, Ken. If you move about this way, and now we have the Keswick Joker being played, and this is half Badger and half Fox, and it's the Boggart. I remember full well from that lovely day we had up in the Lake District. Right. Without any more ado, Gennaro, come and say the magic words, which go something like, "Attention." <laughs> Joker of Christchurch, the Joker of Loch Gilpet, the girls have to balance, obviously, and not tumble off, as Charm would have just done, rather a risky Joker to play this. All depends on the two huskies who have to move the bar. You see how the game works. Roll forward, slide back. Roll forward, slide back. Hit a rhythm. And the girls have to tiptoe gently as they go, running sideways. John Wood is a very strong team, this John Wood side. Let's look at it in the yellow. Two girls, Elaine Foster, Veronica Latto. One's a student of the dance, and the other is a, a master of science, and they've done it. Charm would have done it. And at the moment, of course, they are in second place on the master scoreboard. Let's look at uh, Gloucester in the middle. And Gennaro. You have 15 seconds to finish. Come on, Gloucester, come on, Lost your pen. 15 seconds of the match. Gloucester finished, and Lock your pen. The whistle blows. The time for Lock your pen, 1.53. For Gloucester, 1.51. And for Charnwood, 1.51. 25. Oh, that is, that is a British at all covers record. Yes, on the rollers, ready to go. Kettick, brother of Christchurch, tomorrow. Attention. 125. What a time to beat. The Kettick Joker on it. Coming up for 40 seconds. 45. Keswick in the lead. Keswick going well. Keswick on the Joker. Christ just, just lost it a little. On Keswick. Look at the team, the Keswick team. It's Jeff and Sean doing the hard work, and Celia and Janet dancing with dexterity. We've had one minute five, one twenty-five is the time to beat. The game finishes when everything is over the line. One fifteen. They've done it. Keswick have done it. What about Christchurch? Come on, Christchurch. It's coming up to one minute thirty, Christchurch. Good finish in third place. Right, so it's a finish. Come on. In the middle. Rotherham. The whistle. The important score. The time for Rotherham first. 1.56. And the time for Christchurch. 1.36. And the important time for Keswick. And now the time to kiss it, it would be the best, 1.17. Well, incredible, three jokers played, three jokers won. So let's have the points. The points for Keswick, six points plus six for the joker, that makes 12 points. 12 points uh, for Keswick. Then for Chanwood, 
five points. Five points to the Chandwood. Christchurch, four points plus two for the Joker at the third place. That makes six. Six points for Christchurch, and then we move up to. Then for Gloucester, three points. For Lucky Pet, two points. And for Rotherham, one point. And now we transfer those to the Masters scoreboard. Still in the lead, we have Charnwood with 20, West Dorset with 16, then Eco with 14 in third place, Christchurch and Keswick. Gloucester with 9, Lock Gilpet 7, Rotherham 3, and on to our little pool game. And it's the Frogs, and lined up to come over the top are West Dorset. And they've got to leap over the podium. And when they reach the other side, it is a complete run. We don't count the number of rafts they've jumped, we count the complete runs. Gennaro, let us start them on their way. It's very funny game. Okay. Attention. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter how you cross, but you mustn't hit the water. This is Christopher Thomas Peter in his costume making heavy weather. When he gets to the ramp, he's assisted to the top. Oh, big boy from, he's in the water. Now he had his, uh, he had his, his little frogman foot in the water. Does it count? It's, a run for two for West Dorset. Oh. <laughs> five seconds to go. Five seconds to go. You've only five seconds to make the run. Can he do it? Attention. He runs up the stairs. He gets to the top. No, oh, no, 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 no. We have two runs. Two runs, and now let's go to Gloucester. They are in position in the red Gennaro. Attention. No joke is being played, but three runs. Three runs in half a minute could be a world record coming. Four. Yes. That's five. Ooh, this, this is really takes some doing. You, you have five seconds to go. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Oh. What a run. Oh. Oh. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that one because we, we thought that game would be won on at least only three or maximum four. Oh, we have six runs in that case for Gloucester. Six runs for Gloucester. Lock Gilpad are ready on their own game over Lock. Attention. as fast as Gloucester. Lock Gilpeb. Lock Gilpeb. I keep missing it. <laughs> Lovely lock that straddles the great searching peninsula of Argyle. The gateway to Isle Jura Mull and Butte. A most beautiful little resort. <laughs> as I say that, he bangs his... Ten seconds to go. Ten seconds. Come on, only five. You've got to be quick. Faster, faster, faster. Come on, come on. We're all on your side. And he's, I'm afraid he's out of time. And the score for Lucky Head, three runs. 
three runs for Lock Gilpad. Another much fancied Charnwood team. Attention. They'll have to bomb it. I think that was Neville coming first. Neville and Jeremy, that's two. Two in 15 seconds, they are slower than Gloucester. Another good run. Just a slight pause, but that's four. Four in half a minute, you're now up with the clock. You're up with the clock, yes. That's five. One more to equal, and you've ten seconds to do it. Ten seconds, only ten seconds. <laughs> Wait, you, you've seven seconds. You've seven seconds to do it. Seven. Seven. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. <laughs> the seventh one is very difficult. We have six for four channels. The same score. We have a little choir in the background as Rotherham prepare to leap. Attention! One for Rotherham. With this Charnwood team, they are so determined. Many of them teachers of physical education and many, of course, at the very famous Loughborough University. Where they turn out the finest sportsmen in this country and of course the continent of Europe and the world. We're watching Rotherham though, putting everything in, Norman and Peter. Oh. Uh, when I said putting everything in, I didn't mean putting it in the water. Attention. Go. Go, go. And he slid gracefully to disaster. Come out as fast as you can. Two seconds. two seconds to go. If you make it in two, it's a pint of champagne. <laughs> the beautiful Lancashire sun bestows its warmth upon us, and you said. Rotherham, we have three runs. Three for Rotherham, still equal Gloucester and Charnwood. Let's see now what Keswick can do. Attention. Attention! Two boys, Grant and Ian. Grant first. Ian. Kesik, you're behind. You've three. Yes. You've three in 30 seconds. Four in 45 seconds. You've only 15 seconds to go to get four across. Two equal. This is crucial now. Can he do it? Five. Running out of time. Come on, come on, you've still two seconds to go. Oh, a great run. Give him a round of applause, it was a marvellous run, but he didn't count. Now, we have for Keswick, five runs. Just five for Keswick, most unlucky, and now the points. For Gloucester, six points. Then for Charnwood, also six points. Then for Keswick, four points. For Rotherham, three points. For Lock Gilphead, also three points. And to West Dorset, one point. Bit of a blow there to West Dorset, fancying themselves on that little run. But now let's see what the master scoreboard says. And it says, Charnwood still in that lead. This time, 26 points. From now, new second places in Keswick with 18. In third place, West Fawcett with 17. Gloucester, 
with 15, Christchurch 14, Lock Gilpet 10, and Rotherham 6. But both teams still to play their joker. And now, let's go to Fraser with the marathon. Thank you very much, Stuart. Here I am for the second leg, and this time we've shuffled the dogs up so they come out of different traps. And beside me is the Rotherham dog. How are you doing? Arr, I'm hungry for bones. That was Mad Vic, the Rotherham dog. Now, the producer, just one tiny complaint, did promise me a gorgeous blonde to help me with the scoring. Unfortunately, um, who did he give me? Arthur Ellis. Arthur, at least you're a nice blonde. Uh, attention! <laughs> and off we go. A very even break, but they're all down on their BTMs. But the Gloucester dog, which is Viv, he's in first there. And Viv is an export manager, loves most sports. But it's the Keswick. It's Keswick there, which is Sean Turner. He's an apprentice fitter, but he's down. Viv is still up there. And there's John McAlpine from Rock Gilpin. But here's Mad Vic. Mad Vic gives the first ball in, and he's back again. It's Mad Vic and Viv. And John McAlpine third. And here comes the Keswick dog staggering up there to hand over to Janet Wilson. Janet is encouraging there, but Viv is coming back to Lynn Parker Dodd, a school teacher. Oh, a bit of bumping and boring there. Viv's nearly down. And West Dorset, a, a first. Rotherham have finished second. And where's Christchurch? Robert Robinson, he's finished. And Loch Gilpaid, oh, always stagger up here. John McAlpine a bit tired, and Viv is finishing well. There's a, there's a right old punch up down there between the two. It's Sean. Sean and Jim Whitehead. And he can't find his bone. There's a bone there somewhere, but he's got it. And here he comes. It's Jim Whitehead there. And for Keswick. Oh! Jim's down, and unfortunately, we're running out of time, and I'm running down the hill to Arthur Ellis. Well, Arthur, a bit of a turn up for the books there. Yes. In first place, West Dorset. West Dorset in first. In second place, Rotherham. Rotherham have improved to become second. In third place, Christchurch. Christchurch, which is from Hampshire, not New Zealand, is not international today. In fourth place, Lock Gilpin. Lock Gilpin, oh, he dropped one there, he's down fourth. In fifth place, Gloucester. Gloucester, he proved a couple of points. Out of time, Charlwood. Oh, out of time, Charlwood. Out of time, Keswick. And out of time, Keswick. So roughly at the moment, Loch Gilpaid have one and four makes five, and Christchurch, two and three, five. They're both on five points. It's going to be down to the third leg of the marathon. But in the meantime, back to Stuart Hall. Thank you, uh, Fraser. On the big net, over which three Huskies have to come, bearing a treasure chest apiece. They are behind me, over the top, up the rope ladder, onto the chair, then the drunken sailor, and themselves, of course, and when all are seated, that is the game. And I espy a joker being fed in by the lovely Ashley. It is at long last the Rotherham Joker, and you need the points. We shall wish you the very, very best of luck. Thank you, thank you very much indeed. Never saw the lips move right. Gennaro to your workstation. In from the left, Gennaro says, Attention! We go over the top. Rotherham in the middle. Gets it near us to us. Christchurch on the far side. It's Christchurch at the moment from Keswick. From Rotherham. The Rotherham boy is Martin Evans, who's an accountant. In the middle. <laughs> this is dynamite. Over goes the drunken sailor. Anywhere you can. First. Up we have. Christchurch. Come on, Rotherham, you need the points, you need the joker. Rotherham first. From Christchurch. Stuck at the top, Arkesi. A stroke of luck. Go up, Rotherham. The drunken said he needs to be in the chair, and he's stuck. It's going to be Christchurch. 
and Rotherham. And Paul O'Kezik caught a crab right at the top there. Gennaro comes in approaching from the south and he says, The time for Christchurch, uh, 53 seconds. Then for Rotherham, one more second, 54. And for Keswick, 104. 104. So Rotherham at the moment lying in second place. Charnwood, West Dorset, Lock, Gilped are ready, poised and waiting. Attention! <laughs> we'll keep a close watch on the time. Charnwood. West Dorset in the middle. Charnwood, there's the camera. And Lock, Gilped on the far side. Ooh, ooh, there's... There's no doubt about it that um, these Charnwood guys can really blister. The face they set absolutely searing, leading the competition overall. And at the moment, liable to blow off the Rotherham Joker. We've had 40 seconds. 40. 53, the best time of the first heat. We come in at 50, and we've got a finish of Tom Wood in 50, possibly two. And Lock Gilped struggling just a bit. We start from the end. Lock Gilped, 56 seconds. Then we have West Dorset, 52. And the Charnwood time. Charnwood, 51. So it's goodbye, Rotherham Joker, as we award the points to... Charnwood, six points. West Dorset, five points. Christ, Christchurch, four points. Then Rotherham, three points, and nothing for the Joker. Then we have for uh, Long... Long Gilf Head. Uh, Long Gilf Fred. Two points. <laughs> and for Keswick, one point. Well, somebody needs to come strongly to beat this Charmwood team. Look at it now. 32 points in the clear. Leading by 10 clear points from West Dorset in second place. Then Keswick, 19. Christchurch, 18. Gloucester, 15. Lock Gilpid, 12. Rotherham, 9. Tizzy, what are we going to do about Lock Gilpid at the moment? You're training. What about it? What are you going to do? Oh, we'll come back. We'll get it. You'll get it. Yes, we haven't played our joker yet. That's true. I yes. can't wait for it. But in the meanwhile, good wishes on this game and also good wishes to Gloucester. It's the ball-bearing game. The ball-bearing game, the, the four competitors pick up the ball-bearing on its contraption and then they have to essay its way through five hoops and back again. Three hits to Gennaro. Attention. Boys and girls, with the strange contraption designed as everything is by that madman Stuart Ferber, Gloucester in the red, with the yellow and brown ball have dropped it. They have to play their joker, of course, along with Lock Gilphead and Lock Gilphead, with only 12 points, need a few. Let's have a look at them. Greg Campbell, Gordon Lyben, Anita Sinclair and Tizzy Carmichael. They certainly got it together as Tizzy forecast. <laughs> and one of the delightful things about Markout is the people you meet in your travels and never forget the characters that emerge for the day and become mini stars. And possibly Tizzy is one of them. They finished. Little Scottish pride coming back. It's looking a bit tarnished. But Gloucester. 15 seconds to go now. 15 seconds, Gloucester, come. Then. Five, five, four, three, two, one, and... The time for Gloucester's... 128. For Gloucester, huh? And for Lucky Bell, 
105. Lock give Fred. Yes, 105. Christchurch and West Dorset on the starting line, and we're ready. Attention. Chant would have to miss a game. They're missing on game number seven. Which will enable all the other teams to pile up a few points. Let's have a look at West Dorset though. Gary and Trevor. Penny and Susan. And once the rhythm is hit on this game, it becomes a little simpler. West Dorset coming down, talking to each other all the time as they go. And again, come on! Gary is doing the talking. Up a little, down a little, rolling round. Let's have a look though. That Christchurch are going, yes, in the yellow have won it. Whoosh! Christchurch needing to come because they're making points while watching West Dorset because they missed it. They rather missed out on that one. Had a marvellous start the first leg, but lost it on the second. Disappointment shows. They pat each other. Sympathetic smiles. A trifle one, I feel. And here he comes. For Christchurch, 55 seconds. The best time at the moment. And West Dorset, 106. One so the best time, the Bogheim Christchurch. Rotherham and Charnwood. Attention! Rotherham in the group. Looking well out of the competition at the moment. Fighting for a bit of Yorkshire pride. Jed, Martin, Anita and Janine. But watch the Charnwood team in the yellow. Really putting it together. Colin, Jim, Veronica and Jewel. But Rotherham, Rotherham coming and Charmwood have not got it, but uh, let's have a look at them. That's Rotherham, the pride of Yorkshire. Marvellous little town founded on steel, with a football team inspired by Emmon Hughes. They're on the way back, but Charmwood now striking a rhythm, look at it. If you're wondering where Charmwood is and you've forgotten, it takes its name from Charmwood Forest. It's 108 square miles, lies at a triangle between Derby, Nottingham and Leicester, in the very heart of the East Midlands. Oh, another blow for Charnwood. But they can afford to play with points at the moment as Rotherham finish. Fifteen seconds to go now. Jim Whitehead's in there, the big guy, is uh, a hammer thrower, played in the Commonwealth Games on the verge of the Olympics, the big guy on the right, but they're going to count a lot of time. Blow there for Charnwood. Rotherham 109 and uh, Charnwood is out of time. Let's have the points then. The points for Christchurch, six points. And Lord Gilphead. He's with got a good, it, he's got it. <laughs> I've got it, five points. Then for West Dorset, four points. For Rotherham, three points. For Gloucester, two points. And from Chanwood, one point. And now it will make very, very interesting reading on the master scoreboard. Chanwood still in the lead with 33. West Dorset then with 22nd, 26. Christchurch, 24. Keswick, 19. Equal Gloucester and Lock Gilped with 17 points apiece and still trading in last place. We have Rotherham. But now for the final marathon, it's raised with you. Thank you very much, Stuart. Now, who's going to win this final leg of the marathon? Is it going to be Christchurch, who did very well in the discotheque last night rehearsals? Lock Gilped, who need to win this to be up against the points? Or West Dorset from that lovely French Lieutenant's Woman's country of uh, Lyme Regis? We'll know in about one minute and 45 seconds on Arthur's whistle. Attention! And off we go. And it's a good groping session going on there. And who's come out? It's Christchurch. 
Nicky Arnold, 21, a computer technician, closely followed by the Loft Gilpeg dog there, John McAlpine needs his points, and the West Dorset dog, Christopher Thomas. WB stands for West Dorset, not War Department. There goes Ski Sunday himself, John McAlpine. And where's the Keswick dog? Here he comes. Handing over to Caroline Charlton. Handing it, yes. No ball. Oh. And nearly a touch on there. It's Christopher Thomas Peter. And Susan. They finish. And Charlton have finished. Dry shot and nearly there. Lock Gilpin has finished third. I think. And Christ says are in there. Here comes Mad Vic. Not doing too well. He's going to finish last. They won't like this in Rotherham tonight. Oh, and finally, the little Gloucester dog. Arthur, it's all up to you. And the first position, West Dorset. West Dorset first. In second position, Charnwood. In third position, Lock Gilpin. Fourth position, Christchurch. Fifth position, Keswick. Sixth position, Rotherham. And last, in seventh position, Gloucester. And now we had to add all those points up to see. Lock Gilped, a total of eight. Keswick, a total of 15. Charnwood, 13. Gloucester, 19. West Dorset, 9. Rotherham, 15. And Christchurch, 9. So who has actually won the marathon? Now, the, uh, the, the Lock Gilpin have won the marathon, but the points, the points to the master scoreboard. Seven points to Lock Gilpin. Six points to West Dorset. Six points to Christchurch. Four points to Charnwood. Three, point, uh, three points to Rotherham. Three points to Keswick. And one point to Gloucester. Well, thank you, Fraser. And now we two again to go. Let's update the scoreboard. Stone lead, Charnel with 37, from West Dorset with 32. Christchurch with 30. Lock Gilbert 24. Keswick 22. Gloucester 18. And Rotherham still only 15. And now I'm standing at the foot of the barn in the straw. Four bags have to be hauled to the top by the teams, and the Gloucester team is Andy, Barry, and the lovely as ever, Lynn. I kiss your hand and anoint you, my dear, because it's very important for you, because it's in two heats of three, and I've got Jokers coming in, and we have at long last a Lock Gilpet Joker, and, oh, the pride, tell me what you brought me. I brought you a Lock Fine Kipper. A Lock Fine Kipper, my favourite stew, Jimmy. Great to see you. So go and preserve it. I'll boil it for my breakfast tomorrow. The most delicious kips of the world. And at last, the Gloucester Joker. Now then, Your Majesty, what do we have here in this delightful little bowl? Well, these are Elvis, Stuart. They're baby eels which have swum across the Atlantic. They took three years in getting up to the River Severn. There they were captured by Gloucester folk. Cooked this morning for you. So for you to taste. And I shall have them with some it's Gloucester wine. Aphrodisiac. Oh, wonderful! Do quite well Just what I want. Right, okay, Gennaro. He knows what an aphrodisiac is. He smokes them all the time. <laughs> Attention! <laughs> the two jokers, still with any, and earth we go. Gloucester in the first heat. Let's have a look how they go. The Gloucester team are in the middle. Four sacks have to, have to be hauled to the top. Lynn Parker Dodd, 
Barry Heaving and Andy Hammond with a weight trainer at the top. In the lead are still Gloucester. No, they're not. Keswick have shaded them out. Keswick. Let's have a look at Keswick on the left. Stephen Brayton. Fabricator and welder sometime of Keswick. That lovely town at the top end of the Lake District, visited by one and a quarter million tourists a year. And they're in the lead from Gloucester. A fight to the death here between Andy and Stephen. West Dorset appear to be out of it. And Gloucester have done it. Gloucester have done it. They've won the first part of the Joker. There's the second heat to come, of course. Watch the time. Two minute limit time. Keswick have finished. West Dorset. The chance is fading away on this game because Charmwood don't play, and if anybody's going to come at all, it was going to be West Dorset who needed maximum points. West Dorset at the moment blowing it, and we're bating our breath with Ian and Susan at the bottom, and at the top is Gary, who is stacking, and the time and the hopes of West Dorset ebbing away, as Gennaro says. The time for Kizzy. One minute twelve. Uh, for Gloucester, the best this time at the moment, one oh two. And West Dorset? West Dorset, one minute forty. Not Gilbert on the joker, come on, Gerard. Attention! <laughs> we'll try to do some calculations here for you because in the middle we have the Christchurch team. If they picked up six points here, they could come and finish with 36 before we go to the final game. Remember, Charlie in the lead with 37. Christchurch at 30. West Dorset at 32. Gloucester on the Joker could pick up 12 points here as well, which could bring them to 30. But not Gilpin on the Joker game. Somebody needed to come, and it should have been West Dorset to challenge Charnwood, who hoped this enormous lead and have done from the start. Very, very strong team, but let's look at Lock Gilpin. Climbing is Alistair Dewar on the right, in the middle, Christchurch, on the left, rather. Little Maven, who was a nurse at the bottom, wearing her gloves and a smile, came here for laughs. Not intently serious on doing the powerful. Christchurch. One minute, Pippin. Just one minute. Let's have a look at Rotherham, who really faded. Only 15 points on the master scoreboard. But they're coming to the end. It could be Rotherham. It could be Christchurch. It could be Lock Gilpin have won it. Lock Gilpin from Rotherham. Christchurch. Again, need of the points. Only 30 on the master scoreboard. A phased out. Christchurch finishing now. Oh, we're still going for Rotherham. They'd hit the sack somewhere. <laughs> they, they'd secreted the sack somewhere. We didn't see it. So we're waiting now for Rotherham to finish. One minute, 45 seconds gone. Two minutes of limit time. I will stop. I will stop because we... Up. So, Gennaro. So, uh, Rotherham is anyhow out of time because they forgot one sack. And Christchurch 127. And for Log Gilp Head, the try. Got it right. 115. 115. Now let's award the points. The points. Uh, for Gloucester, uh, six points plus six with the Joker, that makes 12 points for Gloucester. Then for Keswick, five points. Five for Keswick. Then for Log Gilp Head, Four points plus two, that makes six points. Six points and a lock find kipper. For Christchurch, three points. Wester said two points. And then for Rotherham, one point. And as we go to the final game now, let's consult the master scoreboard. Well, West Dorset, uh, they rather blew it, but let's read down. Charnwood still in the lead with 37. West Dorset, 34. Christchurch, 33. Gloucester, 30. Lock Gilpad, 30. Keswick, 27. And Rotherham, 16. Well, yes, we've come now to the great horse and jockey race, and what better way to end the day at Arena North, which will be the scene of some great equestrian events. And, of course, we are going to send them all up by having our seven horses...
with the beautiful jockeys, all tested and true, all lightweight and accoutred in their favourite colours. They have to come down the course at the gallop until they arrive at Gennaro. They go round Gennaro with a bit of luck, over the next fence, thundering back down here, and the finishing post is about 10 yards to Gennaro's right. Gennaro were in jeopardy, but blow it. Attention! This course into the favourites of 5-1. to one. With the jockey, a little lightweight, <laughs> round Gennaro, West Dorset at first, then a great pile-up, everybody hanging on by grim death, it's West Dorset in the lead. With a forest lock, Gilp Head. Cluster in second place from Christchurch from Rotherham. From Keswick, Tom would need to come. A great, a great pile-up there at Valentine's. This is absolutely vital. If West Dorset win it, they pick up the seven points, but Gloucester take the lead. Gloucester in the yellow from West Dorset. Gloucester can't win the championship, but West Dorset can. If they finish with seven points, they finish with 41. Charmwood want to finish well down. Anything could happen. Let's just concentrate on it now. Gloucester coming in at the counter. Gloucester on the counter from West Dorset. Gloucester with Julie Burrell up, West Dorset with Sue mounted. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Christ Church of Paula, in comes little Sue. <laughs> John Wood did a touch of the kamikaze. And... Oh, I feel better here. Uh, <laughs> And who's that at the back? In the yellow, quietly drifting in, our Keswick. <laughs> this is what it's all about. Here is little Sue. She's about four foot ten taller. What do you weigh up, darling? Six, just over six stone. <laughs> just over six stone. Wonderful. Great race. Gennaro, the result. Oh, the result. We have at the first place. Gloucester with seven points. Gloucester seven points. Then West Dorset six points. West Dorset six. Then Christchurch five points. Christchurch five. Lockgilt head. Lockgilt head four points. Charnwood three points. Charnwood only three points. Then Rotherham two points. Rotherham two points. And for Keswick one point. Keswick one point. Let's transfer those to the master scoreboard. Rotherham 18. Then Keswick with 28. Lock Gilbert with 34. Gloucester with 37. Christchurch with 38. And equal first, we have Charmwood and West Dorset with 40 points apiece. Well, that was a fairly tortuous read through, wasn't it? Uh, Les Dawson's special guest of honour. Very difficult to read through. What about the day, kid? I think it's been a wonderful day. I really like this, this show. It's a knockout. It's as though it is was with all levels. <laughs> really great. And I thought you've been just as you always been drab. <laughs> what, in this blazer? Yes, have 15 you seen quid, you remember, for five years ago. I've never let you off for this. 15 quid. 15 I owe quid. You 50. I'll, yes. give you, I'll give you 15 quid. Today. You can have it today if you present the trophy to the captains. You don't of... know the full story of this. I don't care who knows that there. I'll destroy you, Jimmy. No, I'm a crook. Give the captains of, uh, of uh, Charnwood and West Dorset the trophy. They keep it for six months apiece. Six months apiece. And it all goes well for Europe. Who do I give it to now? Give it the captains. The waiting. The they're the captains. Oh, sorry. That's why they're wearing the red and the yellow. <laughs> well, there we are. Thank you, Les Dawson. Thank you, Fraser Hines. And uh, from Arena North, Charnock Richard, it's time to say goodbye and wish good luck to all our teams who are marauding in Europe with Jeux Sans Frontières. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. <laughs>